Hey everybody, thanks for watching. This is going to be a, I think, really exciting video. This is going to be a money match between myself, there I am right now, teeing off. This is a early in the morning, right, before, right after the sun came up. On the back nine at Recreation Park, where you guys have seen me play before. Playing for money against this guy named Nesty. Nesty is a... Nesty is a caddy at Bel Air Country Club, a famous, famous uh, golf course up in LA that has lots of uh, movie stars and entertainment uh, icons and things like that that are members there. So Nesty is a good friend of mine and a, uh, a good golfer and a caddy up there. So my first drive of the day was perfect. I. I didn't hit any drivers on the range, but I'm making a more concentrated effort to at least hit some balls before I play. So I did hit like uh, about 10 balls on the range, maybe eight. So here's Nesty, who lives. So I live about two blocks one side of this golf course, and Nesty lives two blocks the other side of this golf course. Nesty hit it high and to the right. Pop up right side. That's like what yours is going. It's a little pop up on the right side. So. Here's Nesty. He's this is a par four, about 425 yards. He is out on the the right side. Tried to hit a hybrid, but Man, you can see it. That was thick. It was. It, you can see how thick the rough is because they haven't been able to mow it with all the rain. I know. We're playing lift clean in place in the fairway. I ended up about. Right. We're playing uh, lift clean in place in the fairway, but I'm about three inches off the the actual fairway. So this is in. Uh, but I have a good lie for it being slightly in the rough. This is 165 yards with a seven iron. That's good ball. Sit. Yeah, I hit it really good. And then I'm telling you to sit, but my perception's a little off. And it's kind of cold that morning. Came out just short of the green. And here is Nesty for his third shot. A wedge from about 80 yards. Which you hit just pin high, but it's um, still going to have about 20 feet. Yeah, this is for four, Nessie says there. So that's my my ball, the yellow ball. I'm going to do a review of this ball. It's the Strixon XV. The Strixon, what do, you, what do they call it? Z-Star XV. So, and, I, and uh, it's a very good ball. It's uh, really solid. So you can see the break there, it was starting to take that break, but I just did not nearly hit that hard enough. So I have a good 12, 13 feet left. Here's Nesty for his par. Burns the edge, and we're playing match play here. When I, when I got out there, Nesty said, Nesty said, well, let's play for money. So I said, all right, let's do it. Uh, this is putt for par and to win the hole. So nine holes of match play, uh, getting up or down is crucial because you just don't have much time to flip somebody once you're once you're down. All right, so that was an awesome putt, very aggressive. You see, I'm still using my ping, but since I shot this video and one more video that's ab about to come out, I did go down and, to even roll and get an ER1, which is their answer style putter. Uh, that was uh, totally specked out to match my ping. Uh, Garen Reif, the inventor, helped me with that. All right, so this is dog leg left to right. I'm one up in the match, and I hit a perfect fade. You could see it looked a little bit more like just like a wave at it at the bottom. It wasn't like aggressively ripping it through like my my draw swing was. And here's Nessie. Nessie, Nessie naturally plays a little bit of a left to right, so this hole should fit his eye pretty well. Yeah, hit it right down the middle and with a slight fade, fade back, should have, right? and uh, hit it. That should be right in the middle, right? Just about this the same level as me. 148 yards. This is a choke down eight iron, and I just left the face open. You could see I kind of swung left with the face open, but that's the thing about these irons that you'll notice many times in this video and other videos. Uh, that I've already shot. Yeah, good shots and, and bad shots, they all seem to go pin high. So there's my yellow ball perfectly pin high and there's Nesty. Just short, so this is Nesty's third shot. He 
means it's up and down for par. Really good. That's the thing about wet greens. Shot nest it's chipping is a little bit more manageable. All right, so you can see up there on the other side of the hole from where we're looking is like a big hill. So that's what I was protecting against when I did block it right. Because I know if you're left of that, of that tight flag, it's super difficult to get up and down. So I knew anything to the right, even if it was missing the green, I didn't mean to go this far right, but would be a much easier play. So I knew I had to smash this up that hill. And that was great. That was really great. That was, that's within, that's about a foot and a half. And here's Nesty for his par. Nesty's been playing more golf recently because he's hoping to get his game sharper for the Long Beach City and the Long Beach match play that'll be coming up in April and May. At a rotation of courses here in Long Beach. All right, low side, but made it very good. That's Nesty for par, and this is me for par to stay one up in the match. So I was really uh, actually excited to, to play a match for something so that I could kind of get my, sometimes when I'm just playing for the camera, I can get a little bit lazy with the, uh, the short shots or the, you know, start trying wacky things here. It just, I need to buckle down and like do it all right. 132 yards, nine iron. I believe, or not even, which, yeah, I think it was a nine iron. See, it's choked down just a little bit. But I hit it thin. Radius got kind of short there. But even though I hit that thin, it's just a little bit past pin high. That will be a long putt, though. 132 yards, same for Nesty. I'm not sure what club this is. He hit it just pin high to the left. He, that was a good shot. Normally, iron play is a strength. Iron play and, and putting is, is a big strength for, for Nesty. So you can see the, the guy was mowing the green as we came up here. So I'm going from downhill, very downhill, from the side that's mowed to the side right into the, the dew, which would affect my ball like a wall, which it did. So it totally stopped it from breaking. So now I have a, a difficult downhill about four footer, maybe a little bit more than four feet for my par. And here's Nesty putting for his birdie. Great putt. So I conceded that putt. So Nesty's in for par. The other guys that we're playing with are just, were just grouped up with us. So here I really wanted to buckle down and make this, and I picked a little spot in the dew that I wanted to start the ball over a little as a little mental exercise of what I'm doing here. So I really am trying to get my line perfect. I need to get one of those Checo things. There's a, a link in the description to get my line going. But once I stood over the ball, I didn't believe that spot anymore. And uh, and I lost my conviction and I missed the putt. So now the, now the match is all square felt like I've played a lot better, but the match is all square. You gotta make those. And Nessie hit a nice fade. It, it Not quite the fade that uh, Shot Tracer is making it look like, but he had a very nice fade down the middle. He's in the fairway on this. This is like a 325 yard par four. And the weather was really, it was cold, but the weather was really nice this day. California, we've had more rain than we've had in like, I don't know, 25 years or something recently. So it was nice to get some good weather. So all square in the match. So I'm trying to hit a straight shot down the left. Yeah, I hit a nice slight draw. It was kind of a, a low bullet down the left. And normally that would skip all the way to be within 10 yards of the green if the uh, fairways were cut, which they're not, and, and they weren't so wet. So here's Nesty's second shot. Caught it high on the face just a little bit, which made it come up short. And now this is, it's a blue pin and it's a very big green. So th this is 48 yards. I have my 60 degree wedge. So I'm really trying to pick a spot in space to, to hit on my backswing and follow through. Kind of like a Pell style clock thing. 
So hit that just pin high and just a little right, which is the safer spot to be. Here's my divot. Everybody's always asking about, oh, replace your divots. It's not filmed, but they get replaced. So, um, usually I don't, just don't film it. All right, so here's Nesty's birdie putt. This you would think would be very slow because the screen hasn't been mowed yet. It's very wet and it's going away from that valley where the bamboo is on the 17th hole is the, the lowest point in the golf course. So everything kind of is slow away from there, but Nessie just smashed that one. So he's got that left for, he has about seven feet left for his par four. And this is for my birdie three. So I'm really taking my time to line this one up. Brendan with Bur for birdie to win the hole and to go back to one up in the match. Match play when you're playing for money I really like because uh, as you can, it, it makes re-ups more possible, if you know what I mean. Really well-balanced stroke there. I'm just kind of looking because one of the guys they heard us with was uh, practicing his putting back there. One of those anyway shots. Yeah, I was, I was thinking about backing off, but then I decided just to hit it anyways. All right, so Birdie puts me one up in the match next time on Be Better Golf. When I have more time to edit this, which will be probably uh, tonight, I will put up the thrilling conclusion to this match. I'm one up and playing for a huge $5. Now information about the golf school. On March 14th, 2017 in Long Beach, California for the Be Better Golf One Day School with Jeff and Tony. They're going to be t out here together in California for a very limited time. So it's a uh, really exciting chance to work with them and see how they build power and direction, too. Because Jeff really can fill up the grid. It's in Long Beach, and it's going to be an amazing four or five hours together with these guys. The link for it's in the description. We're going to be concentrating mainly on full swing and driver. I'll be there as well. And we'll, uh, Jeff will be putting on a demo and then working with Be Better Coffers that come out. So check that out. Like I said, the link's in the description. We're super excited. Get in on it now because it's very limited. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.